So I'm actually going to present two tools to you today. Uh, the first one is our bar graph screening tool. Uh, so it's a tool that looks at publications and uh, finds different uh, visualization categories, basically everything you see on the slide. So it specially looks, finds these bad guys here denoted in red, bar graphs for continuous data and pi or donut charts. And also it finds uh, more informative alternatives, which you should rather use instead of the red guys, uh, like dot plots, histograms, box plots, violent plots. Um, so why do we do that? Um, I mean, these types of, of visualization errors or, or problems are quite common, and uh, we think it's a, it would be a good thing if, if more people could be uh, informed about this topic, um, is, for example, on their preprints where they can still change the visualization, and so we think automated screening and feedback would be an option here. So just one sentence on the technical side. So what's behind is like a deep neural network that's just trying to look at pages of publications and sees if any of these categories are in there. Okay, this was the first tool. Uh, second tool is OTPUB, Open Data Detection and Publications. So this is a text mining tool uh, that looks for data sharing statements in publications. Um, so why do we need that? Um, well, Open data um, sharing and reporting is not yet really standardized. There are many different ways on how people can share data. There's like field specific or more general data basis. There's a good old supplement. Um, and sometimes you have a data availability statement nowadays in your paper telling you just where to look for the data, but often you haven't. So you basically have to read the whole publication for that. So we wanted to know at our institution, at the Charité, uh, how many publications have open data, but we can't read 4,000 publications per year. Uh, so we developed this text mining tool, and just very briefly, what it does, it just looks for um, certain uh, combinations of keywords appearing in the sentences of the publication. In this example, for a field-specific database, well, you need a database name here, GEO in this case, an accession number that is matched by a regular expression, and some verbs saying that you deposited something. And so we look for different categories like also supplemental data, if there's something like a data availability statement and more. If anything of this matches, uh, open data was detected. Thank you.